Good evening, guys. How's everybody doing? How are you? Good to see you, as usual, Monday night here on the FPV Workshop. And, uh, Bill, I appreciate all the compliments about uh, Bardwell and all, but uh, I'm afraid that uh, I think he still knows just a little more than me. But that's okay. That's okay. That's his full-time job. And the big difference between me and Bardwell, besides about 100 years, is that about this time in his live streams, he's probably got 400 people watching already. So uh, I think I have a long way to go. But I have 14 here, and I'm grateful for each and every one of you guys. So uh, thanks, for, thanks for coming in. Uh, Carlos was here first. Took Jody out today. I don't know what happened with Carlos, but... Uh, Hugh from uh, Asgard Studios came in second, and uh, Charlie, Drone Psyche, came in third. And I guess that's all we count, because nobody claimed fourth, which was Bill, Coast to Coast Drones. Good to see you, and uh, Paulie came in there just finishing dinner. And who else we got? Uh, Justin, how you doing, Drone 863? And uh, Mike Kinney's here. How you doing, Mike? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. There's Jody. Good to see you, Jody. I can't eat drones. No fly drones is here. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. And who else? Who else? Doc Murdoch. Chris, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Ed is here, too. Going to feed the landlord's dog. Okay. Robert Glazier. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. I uh, I don't see uh, my Santa's helpers in the in the green room yet, and this show uh, is pretty much about them tonight. Uh, we're gonna actually do some workshop stuff. Paul Dronebaum, in case you don't remember, smashed his. Uh, little Emacs Tiny Hawk uh, or Baby Hawk HD into a telephone pole, broke a motor, replaced the motor, and uh, then all of a sudden the uh, camera stopped working. I don't know if there was another crash that made the camera stop working or not, but as soon as these guys get in here, I can ask them the questions. Well, a little, little care package showed up on my doorstep last week. Uh, I think it was on Friday. And... Uh, we have a project for tonight, and that's trying to figure out, uh, out what happened to, uh, to Paul's drone. And I have uh, taken it apart and taken a look at it, although I haven't tried to fix anything and identified a number of, uh, number of little problems with it. And we'll see. Uh, we'll see uh, what happens, and we'll take a close look at it, and uh, maybe uh, we can all figure out what get it working and I see Carlos just popped into the green room resplendent in his tropical shirt Arizona drone dude how you doing Paul says I'm coming I'm coming well when you're finished coming Paul uh, come on in and uh, well, if I had a rim shot I'd do it but I don't have rim shot sound effects so here we are without further ado I guess I'm down in the chat said hi to everybody Unlimited Verticals here. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. And uh, there he is. Paul just showed up. All right, good deal. Let's bring in. Uh, let's bring in Carlos. That was a good one. That was a good one. When you finish coming, come on. <laughs> yeah. What What is this? Um, Go ahead. Flying at one. Uh, playing it back at one and a half. <laughs> oh, you did read that? I thought maybe that just <laughs> go by. <laughs> No, that no, that was Carlos. <laughs> that was uh, that was this. The new one, right? No, the, oh. the marmot. Okay. And this thing is this thing is is fast. So yeah, that uh, nice. That's what that was. Yeah, looked good. Looked good. Now you know. Before I put the shirt on, I have to make sure nobody's looking in. Close the blinds. Take yeah, it out I of understand. hiding. You know. I I understand. Well, you know that there, there there are. <laughs> I don't know if you think my shirt has any more class than your shirt, but no, there are tropical shirts. 
that aren't quite as, as loud. As, as busy, that. right? Well, I got the busiest yeah, one on okay. purpose, just for the show. Good, good. And uh, and there he there's is. The other, there's the other half. What's up, guys? I made Paul. How you doing, Paulie? Good to see you. Hey, good thanks for helping you. me out, buddy. Again. Well, yes, I haven't, again. haven't really... I haven't really helped you out yet. Well, all I've well, done is found all I've done is found fault with everything so far. <laughs> oh, oh, you've no. looked at it already. Uh, yeah. And we're oh, gonna and we're gonna go we're gonna go over uh, everything that I found. And I think uh, so. Uh, what I want you to tell me first is, um, did you crash it again after you hit the pole? After you fixed the motor? Yeah, yeah I fixed it after that. I changed the motor and everything worked fine. Yeah. Um, then I crashed it again. Yeah. I was just How bad stupid. was the next crash? Uh, I was probably at least 20, 30 feet up. I was trying to fly over a tree and look down at it as I come around. Oh, like that's that. right. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. And I throttled Me. up. <laughs> <laughs> throttled up yeah, upside down. Yeah, throttle down. upside down and throttling yeah. up is not a good not a good thing to do. But uh... yeah, yeah. So I learned. <laughs> I tried to fly to China. <laughs> Uh, I see Bill. Nah, Bill, I'm just joking with you. I, I appreciate all the compliments that I get. Uh, I don't want Joshua Bardwell coming down here, you know, to assassinate me, however, because <laughs> he thinks I'm trying to sneak Hidge in on his, on his living. But, uh, Paul, where's your no, Tommy I, Bahama shirt? I learned a lot of stuff. Uh, what's that? You're right. Paul didn't put his shirt on. You're right. No. I'll be right there. Yeah, yeah. man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's warm in here. I mean, I'd be much cooler in a T-shirt, but I said, ah, got to get dressed up for this. There he is. So, uh, looks more so like I mafia. I don't know. Nice. Oh, yeah, I like that shirt. I mean, that, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, well, man. This is my yeah, mid-shirt. Okay. We'll see, we'll see if Ed, Ed, uh, we'll see if Ed gets with the program uh, when he comes in here. So we got 16 people in the house. Watching um, the DJI repair. Yeah, well, it's more than that, Carlos. I'll tell you. Uh -oh. I'll tell you it's, more, it's 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 more than that. So uh, now that you're uh -oh. here, Paulie, uh, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna go over to the. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get my tissues. <laughs> yeah, I, I should play some sad music here. Oh no! Let's go no, over no, here. Oh okay. no! And it's uh, all apart. Let me uh, let me zoom. Let me do a little zooming in here. The camera's off. Everything's off, Paulie. Oh my okay, God. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in real close and then I'll move around because there's some things I want to show you here. Okay? okay? So there we go. All right. Perfect. Here's, perfect. Your, here, here's your antenna and here's your CADEX and there's no camera on the end of the wire right now. See that? Okay. Because I took the camera off and here's your camera. All right. And... Uh, I want to show you a couple things. Number one, and I, 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 I might have to put a little more light on the subject, but um, let me get over well, to I here. See pretty good. And Thanks. see if I can. That's about it. Okay. Do you see this mm -hmm. wire? The, on the capacitor? Yeah, but do you see that it's not, it's up off the, cir it's up off the circuit board? Oh, 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 wow. Oh, the, that should be on the circuit board as well, I guess. Uh, I, I think, yeah. The capacitor... <laughs> is, that, is that a sarcastic, that, I think? That's not good. Okay, so the capacitor was sticking straight up this way. and It had come off the adhesive that holds it down to the board, okay? And it popped up, and it yanked on this wire, and it pulled the solder pad off the controller board. Okay. Okay. And so now you have the capacitor, and I'll tell you what did that was that this wire here was not zip tied. It, it was. I had. I. It was. I. I oh, it was. It. Yeah. Something was. yanked. Something yanked real hard on this wire and pulled that right off the board. That's the only you way. You could probably see come where like it's, it's. It's. It's like creased where the zip tie was. Oh, okay. All right. So it was zip tied to the frame. Oh but yeah, it still I, I pulled. Definitely. It still pulled too hard. Now, I think I can repair that, okay? A lot of times when you pull a pad off a board, especially uh, one of the battery pads, you got, you know, that means you need a new flight controller. But up on the side here, I'm gonna try to see if I can get, that, get this in the camera. 
up on the side, right here, where the, where the ground wire solders, the, there's, right here, there's a cladding in the circuit board and there's, there's also a pad on the bottom. So somewhere between all of that cladding and the pad on the bottom, I'll be able to reattach this, this ground wire. Um, it was touching the board when I first got it, all right? And I plugged it in and the board lit up. But that was loose. And if you just breathed on it, it would shut off and come on again. And I'm afraid that what happened to this thing was that uh, all of that nonsense may have sent some real voltage spikes in the direction of this thing, which in turn may have hurt the camera. Now, I don't know that for sure or not because I haven't plugged anything into that yet. All right, Come so on, that, was the first, that, that was the first problem. Second thing I noticed was uh, this right here. You know what that is? Service loop? Uh, well, some no, people might might call wire. it that. Other people might call it somebody replaced the motor and didn't oh, left feel like slack. cutting the wires to the correct <laughs> length, and just put a whole bunch of wire and taped them taped them down to the leg with some gooey, sticky electrical tape. Oh yeah, my gooey, sticky was, tape is gone. Was half uh, which was half unwrapped when I got it. So we're going to fix that as well. Um, the quandary. How's the my solder that, job? Uh well, we'll let the we'll let the uh, we'll let the audience decide. There it is, right there. Not bad. Not it's not bad. Now this 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 wire right here has a uh, little more insulation stripped back than the other two. But if you look at the other soldering wire, well, I don't know if you can see the difference. These are a little shinier, but. All in all, Paulie, I, I'll, I'll give the soldering a, a Mitch, you know, quick pretty, comment. pretty good mark. Yes. Unlimited Vertical wrote, if the pad is done since it's a ground, can you run it to a new, a new wire to another ground pad? Yeah, you probably could find some place, uh, and that's what I say, underneath the board itself, there, there's a ground, there's another ground pad on the bottom of the board and it's clad up along the side of the board as well. So, they'll, you know, there's metal there that I can find a place to, to solder, re-solder the ground. I just have to make sure that there is no connection across the spot that got pulled up. In other words, that uh, I'm not disconnecting half the board from the ground plane. So we'll have to do a little measuring with a, with a voltmeter, make, with, with a uh, multimeter to make sure that the ground indeed is all over the place when, when I get done. Now, here's the problem I got, Paul. Um, I took the camera off. I noticed. And let me show you. Let me go back to the let me go back to the other screen again. Go back to that here. Let me let me show you what we're dealing with here. I feel like I'm in the principal's office. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now keep in mind that this thing is is tiny. What do we All right? that? I can see that. This is the back of well, the camera. Well, this is the back of the camera. Yeah, okay. this is the back of the camera. This is after you take the uh, the little plastic cover right. off the back. Okay. And you're dealing with that, and you're dealing with right here a connector that's got probably 20 or 30. Well, 20, okay. I can almost count them. Yeah, maybe eight or two. And then you've got this very fragile little, little cable, which all fans out into the, into the, it's like a ribbon cable. Yep. Why and that, like, and that yeah. and that just fits that fits right down in there and you just snap it in just like that, okay? And then the other end of that goes into the uh <coughs> goes in into the uh VTX unit and in order to get that off there's a little little metal clamp over the top of it here and there's a screw right over here right over here and you take the screw out and then you have to wiggle the clamp out and then you have to get a little tiny sharp little blade in there and pop and pop that out okay now 
a number of things. I did I did plug it in. I didn't get power to it. And I plugged it in, and the the VTX is transmitting. Okay. Because I yeah, did, had telemetry. I did, yeah, I did see it, and I moved the telemetry out around a little for you in the goggles, so it'll be more in the center. Because where you see it on the screen in uh, Betaflight isn't where it shows up in the DJI goggles. Yeah, I've noticed. Yeah, so what you have to do is when you're trying to position your telemetry is you have to turn the goggles on. And then instead of looking at the computer screen when you position it, look at the goggles and see where it ends up. Put that's it a good you want idea. It that way. Yeah, that's what you have to do. <coughs> here's, here's, what I'm, here's what I'm afraid of, Paul. <laughs> Be afraid. And, th and this is, well, afraid. I'm, I'm very afraid. Here, here. Okay. I have this. Okay. Okay. This is a, a brand Another. new Cadex Nebula Pro, just like okay. what's in your thing. That's going into a, a new build that I'm going to be starting, prob working on probably tomorrow. Okay. All right. If there's something wrong with that VTX ears, and I plug this camera in, and it maybe in the VT and maybe in the VTX, what happened was a voltage surge blew the voltage regulator that sends five volts to the camera and instead of sending you. 20 volts to the camera. This, then it'll fry my brand new camera and that camera, that camera by itself, oh. now is close to 70 friggin' dollars. Well, that's a replacement crazy. camera. Okay. Is there any way we could try it with a cheap camera? You read my mind. Okay. Huh. Now, here, oh, I don't have it here, anyway. Cadex made the first camera that they made for the D DJI digital system was called the uh, what was the name of it? It was a uh, not the Nebula Micro, not a Nebula. I don't know. Whatever it was, it 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 was a combination analog and digital camera. Hmm. Okay, and I and I have a couple of those on some quads that I bought real cheap because nobody wanted them, see? Um, and you can, and those are like 25 bucks, those cameras. And it's a good camera. That little uh, Roma 3 that I fly, not the brand new one, but the first one, Carlos, you've seen the video of it. That's a beautiful video. That's one of those cameras. And it's, it can be Looks used fine. for either analog or digital, but it's like 25 bucks and they're actually in stock. So I thought, it never hurts to have an extra camera anyway. Right. And if if it isn't what the problem was here and there's damage to the VTX and you need to end up replacing, and it may just be that cable, but the same thing is possible. I I, I, I don't really want to risk wrecking this one right. hundred. They're 170 bucks now, these, these yeah. things. It's ridiculous. And I don't want to wreck, uh, risk wrecking that troubleshooting this you. quad. Um, so worse comes to worse, if it wasn't the camera, then that other little drone that you sent me down here without the camera, right? this would, we this camera, camera would work, camera. would work perfectly on that. So that would. Uh, I guess, I guess what I'm telling you is that we're probably not going to get to fix that tonight, but I, I, I wanted to make sure it was okay. I'll order that, that, that you know, that camera. Yeah, absolutely. I think. I might even have a camera here, right? No, but it has to be a digital camera. It has to oh, be has one to be. that right, works right, with right, it. Right. Yeah, I got plenty of cameras, but I don't have one that'll yeah. that'll plug into that that little it's gotta be a that little uh, ribbon connector. Yeah, it's got to be a camera that's designed to work uh, to work with that digital. So, uh, okay. so let me take a. You keep an eye on the one. chat here, Carlos. You have my okay, Doc. All right. And so that may be that may be what it is. Uh, right. I may go ahead and order an extra one of those cables too. While I'm at it, those are cheap. We Could are always use one of those things. Right. You know, something breaks. Yeah, uh, Minnesota Paul says the Cadex DJI unit connectors look like crap compared to the Turtle. Yeah, they're 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 just so de delicate. They work great, but they're just so tiny and delicate. And you gotta almost be like a jeweler or a watchmaker to get in there and work on this stuff. You know what I mean? So I think that's, uh, I think that's, that's what I'll do uh, 
it'll take an extra couple of days, but I get stuff in a couple of days from race day quads. I'll order it. Uh, in fact, I may be able to, they may be able to ship it today. Hang on a second, Paul. Bear with me here. Wow. Talk about quick oh, service, right. Paul. Let's see Good here. I'll be shopping. Race day quads. Where are you? Paul, race do you hear it now? Cha-ching. <laughs> um, okay. here it is. Well, I knew that was going to happen. Let's see. Sign it. Well, you know, I, I just don't. Cadex. And then there's all the thousand dollar an hour labor I got to pay him. Oh, man. Well, that, you know, that goes without saying. Oh. <laughs> that goes without saying. Cadex I'm in Vista. trouble. <laughs> no, you're not. You know, you know that. Uh... He just asked for one simple Bitcoin. That's all. I mean, just, just one, one Bitcoin. One, <laughs> just one Bitcoin. Yeah. One little lousy Bitcoin. Where the hell is it? I, I bought Dogecoin. You put in here Cadex camera, and every drone that comes with a Cadex camera shows up. And I saw it here last night. So it's the Cadex. Uh, digital camera. Cadex Turbo ears do Nano. That's not digital. That's not digital. I'm going to top off my drink. I'll be right back. Maybe it was Watch get, the maybe chat. It, you know what? It might have been get. It, it might have been it get. It might have been get FPV that had it. If it's if it's get FPV, then it's too late to get a chip today. But let me. Uh, I know I saw it last night. Get FPV. Cadex. Uh, God. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. That's okay. Did we say hi to Rat? Uh, Is Rat here? Oh, uh, I know we got love my drones. Doc Murdoch. We got Asgard. I'm supposed to watch the chat, Mitch, so I gotta watch the chat. Minnesota okay. Falls here. Drones eight six three. Jody drone shots. Unlimited vertical. Is that on AZ drone dude? Mike Kenny. Here it is. Here it is. It's even on sale from thirty. They can't get rid of these cameras, Paul. And it's a Cat Cadex Nebula Micro Digital Plus Analog Camera. Here, I'll show it to you. And. Uh, now, is that going to broadcast analog as well? Like, no, I have no, the, no, so, no, no. You right. can either use it as an analog camera or a or, digital camera. Yeah. So um, I couldn't. It, no, it's got the analog connector and then it's got the digital connector in the back of it. And it works with the Cadex Vista, 25 bucks. So that's uh, that's the deal. How do you beat um, that? Yeah, I mean, and, and it was 38 uh, 37 dollars But the problem is... With a, with a Nebula Pro, this camera, it's not as good as the Nebula Pro. All but right. it's not bad either. I mean, and you're not going up there as a cinematographer for this thing. You just want to fly, correct? I just want to fly. Now, I if like you want... Being, I mean, if you quality... Want, if that's okay. the case, if we'll experiment with the twenty-five dollar camera, if it works, and I feel like I need to change it to a better camera, then I can do that. Well, here's, here's the deal. Here's the deal. There's not oh, a cab. Yeah. There's not a, a Nebula Pro camera available in the free world right now. Right, right. Now. And nobody knows when they're going to get them. Hmm. You can get you. I you could eat, you could find the whole kit for one hundred and seventy dollars. The whole damn yeah. mess. Uh, and I and I found there's only one or two people that actually had those uh, right now. So whether you want the you know if nothing else. You can, and this works, and it fixes the problem. Use right. this, and, and then get the uh, Nebula Pro, and then use this camera out. on some analog quad somewhere. But uh, there you go. All right, so let's uh, let's add this to the cart. Oh, we got to choose an option. Do we want black or silver? What do you like, Paul? Black. They don't have red. <laughs> you surprise me, but <laughs> can you can you choose up or down? You have sideways. <laughs> Oh, this stock. item will be back ordered. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Okay, hold oh. on a second. That's that, that. That's no good. That that that's back ordered. So let's let's find it again. Let's. I can't believe it. I guess maybe they only have the silver, or maybe they don't even have the silver. And this whole thing was a. Mitch, you got to tune like a time. child. You shouldn't give them the option of just colors. Just. Well, the problem is that the color the color that he picked, unfortunately, was I didn't pick uh, the color. <laughs> out, of, out of stock. You picked silver. 
and now I can't even get it to where is it where is it oh it says they have the Nebula Pro Vista 165 bucks Paul they have that in stock <laughs> replace the whole thing that's half the cost of the drone isn't it yeah it is. exactly I think the it drone is. was 340 or something like that yeah Cadix. 299 Who's got the 299? Your drone was 299, wasn't it? Well, that's yeah. what I, yeah, then you then you had to then you had to add the uh Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It says here they have it's, it looks like they might have Nebula Pros for 60 bucks. Oh. But here's the thing. If 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 there's something wrong with I the BTX, I don't want to blow yeah. out a $60 right. camera. I'd rather blow you know? up, I'd rather blow up a $25 camera. And if I oh, want to Okay, well that's the that's not the analog one. What happened to the analog camera? Now it's now it. Oh, Jesus, I, I found it before. Cad X. It was available right up till this Vista moment. Vista camera. How did I find it the last time? Back order, back order, back order. Out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. Cadex Nebula Micro Digital and Analog. This is it right here. Okay. Right. So we want to try to silver this time. Silver. In stock. <laughs> That's the deal. And Get the it cart. before it leaves. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to go and we want to find the uh, Cadex Vista ribbon. Is it a ribbon, really? It looks like a... Well, yeah. It, I guess it could be if it was flat. Right? Fans that out on the end. a coaxial cable. Coaxial. This is it right here. They call it a coaxial cable. <laughs> eight, eight centimeter. And here's one 12 centimeter. I guess the... What do you think? $9 or $10? The, this Ten, is... Uh, 12 centimeters. Go... Go longer. Right, better, better have longer. better better to be yeah. too long than too short, I guess, right? Back order. Okay. Yeah, it's not that's uh, not go with the short one. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch it. Well if the, uh the short one's back ordered too. It's real close. It's not like you sort of I think I Oh know. no, yours is yours is much smaller. But uh, all right, so let's just new. let's 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 <laughs> let's get the let's just get the camera anyway in stock. All right, let me let me when, go ahead. When and has finish. he seen you without shorts, Paul? <laughs> Hold on a second here. You send the uh, pictures, Paul. Look at that face. He's probably looking at those pictures. Well, right now. I, I, there's no there's no. Option to check out, it only says express checkout. What the hell does that mean? Really take your money fast. <laughs> Crash cash reward points applied. Oh, cool. I got, I, they owe me money or something. Discount code, gift cards, billing address. All right, so let's see. Billing information. Uh, ship to this address. Can you? Can, can we? Put that on my PayPal. PayPal now, or I'll just pay you back. That's all. I'd be easier. Uh, yeah, already. easiest yeah, thing. Easiest PayPal. thing to do is just pay me back. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. the PayPal address won't match the shipping address, right, and all right. the red yeah, flags yeah. will go up that, it's, up. Yep. that it's a friggin' fraud. Four dollars in shipping. Unbelievable. Arrive discount shipping. Okay. Rowboat instead of like. You can't. I could drive yeah. to Paul. I could drive to Sarasota and pick it up for free. Um, Sounds like gas and tolls to me. Yeah, right. PayPal. Four dollars. Uh, yeah, it costs a hell of a lot more to drive to Sarasota. It would cost mm. me thirty dollars, forty dollars in gas and tolls. PayPal. Continue. All right, Paul. I'm spending money on your behalf here. Do it. Do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Sorry <laughs> about the delay, guys. Push the button, Harry. Okay. That, you that can't add that to cart and, and put it together with the. Uh, Camera, the pay cable with the uh, pay with that credit card and that ship it to that address and continue. Okay. What was that question, Paul? 
these are both items that he's paying for, or is it just the No, they cable? didn't have the cable. They didn't have the cable. They only oh. had the uh, camera. But that's all right. That, uh, and Might the neighbor will be that that camera won't work, but we won't destroy it either. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> yeah. It may I be that it. it's not the camera. No, I don't want to tell you how great you are. All right, so that's ordered for you, Paul. I should have that in uh, uh, by the, uh, Thursday, Friday at the latest. And, awesome. Uh, so I'm not going to start soldering on this thing. I want to do it all at once once I start working on it. So I'll, Okay, yeah, absolutely. I, no I, rush, I wanted, Mitch. I'm, I, I'm, uh, I got stuff to fly, so don't okay. feel rushed at all. Did you get, the frame, did you get the some? frame was okay, uh, Mitch? Yeah, the frame was fine. And okay. uh, let me go back over to it. It, um, okay. Zoom out a little. There you go. I'm on it. Yeah, the frame, the frame is fine. You see, uh, up here are all the pieces to the frame and the screws and everything. But every it, screw in this frame was loose, Paul. Yeah, I know. <laughs> every one. I know I didn't at least even one check. of them was. I didn't even well, check the motors yet. Every one of them just about just about fell out and. Getting well, this, I, get, I, I started to loosen Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, I was going to take it apart, and I was like, I screw it, send it to me. Getting yeah. that antenna out of all these little plastic pieces and top plate was was like a jigsaw puzzle, but, but I finally figured it out. And uh, I think I think it's going to be fine. I mean, I think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful that it's got to be the camera, but if it's not the camera, then it has to be something in the VTX. It, I mean, these things can be sent back to the manufacturer, but... You know, maybe sometime in uh, the next century you'll have this quad back. You know, yeah. it, it would be worth a shot though because these are hundred dollars. These are these little these little buggers are these are hundred dollar bills right here. Yeah, and uh, I know I've never had one go bad, but uh, yeah, but you don't. Fly I, I don't. Ball. I don't know what could. I it, it, there's nothing in the settings. I checked all. There's nothing you can really do because this and the camera are a completely separate and closed deal from the whole rest of the quad. In other words, you could take one of these, set it on the workbench, throw power to it, and it'll it'll broadcast the camera to the goggles. You don't even need a quad in, in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? I sure do. Yeah. So anyway, I could put that, it on uh, on Carl's little RC car. Yeah. Well, that uh, that I say that camera won't uh, won't go to waste because. Uh, so wait a minute. Let me get that other quad. Hold on a second. Be right back. I did. I thought I was prepared and had everything here I needed, but I don't. And we'll stop for a brief commercial and say hello to everyone. <laughs> Drone psyche. <laughs> That's yeah. okay. Every screw and ball is loose. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> uh, have I ever uh, mentioned to, to check your screws, Paul? I loosened them. Oh, okay, okay. Just curious. okay. I was going to take it All apart. Right, What's that? Talking about I was going screws. to take it apart before I sent it to you, so I probably didn't no, tighten all the. No, no, I'm glad. Stuff. I'm glad you left it the way it was. That way, I got a chance to see uh, see what it what it looked like. And I know how difficult it is for you to break loose those tight screws. I didn't want you to strain yourself. No, oh, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Hurt his I appreciate wrist. it. Now we got this. Now we got this little bugger. This thing's like a bad penny. It just keeps coming back to me. You know. Oh boy, hey, it's, got, it's got. It, look at this. Look, it's right away. It's got some of your really nice gooey black electrical tape all over here. <laughs> hey, that's three. I don't know where you got that idea from. Uh, all right. That's so it has. It has. This has no camera in it. No. But it does have a. Does it have a VTX? I can't yes. see in that rat's nest. Oh, it's up on the VTX is up on top of the. Uh, I see it. Okay. And it's got a. Uh, it's got a flight controller that seems to be stacked. That's kind of pulling apart in there. Did you crash this, or what happened to it? Uh, no, it keeps fail safe. Oh, okay. And it's got an uh, XM Plus receiver, receiver yep. in the back. So that's the problem with this. No cam. What happened to the camera? We took it and replaced it with the. Remember the uh, lock nut issue with the Acrobrat? Oh, oh, okay. We uh, robbed okay. Peter to pay Paul. Okay. All right. And we don't know if it. So you basically you just want me to go over this and see if I, I can't I turn a, it into a, a yeah. working quad? I have a feeling it's the flight controller. Remember you said well, you updated firmware and it just didn't. 
Yeah, uh, well, that, I'll, all right. All right, we'll play with it. I figure we just maybe that, start all over from the top down. So to yeah, speak. maybe that'll, maybe maybe that'll be ordered Two of those $25 cameras, maybe one for this one. Well, it may be that that camera doesn't fix this problem, so why have two of them? You can always get that stuff. Got you. But I'm saying so, if that problem is fixed, then we can put a camera on it. I'll, yeah, I and, I, and I may have I may have an old camera laying around here, and it doesn't have to be one of those cameras with the digital capability. Right. So no, yeah, it can be any any camera that goes in here, but uh, Th that'll be his basher, so he can learn how to fly something fast. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll take a look at that too. So my CADEX is safe for now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Paul. I didn't feel like living. Those things generally are hard I, to get. I, I didn't feel like living that adventurously. That. Did you see uh, how he held on to that so tightly? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, is there a way for you to um, check? Do you have a meter to where you could check if the PDB for the camera is putting out the right voltage? Uh, Check the voltage on 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 that tiny little wire where yeah. the connectors are so close together you can, with the naked the eye you can't see the spacers okay. and risk I get your point. So and the risk only way to and risk that. shorting two of them together with the probe from the no, no, I, I don't want to I do hear that. you. Yeah, without okay, and, and on top of that, connector goes yeah, another On top of that, Ed, I don't have a schematic for that connector i have no idea which pin is supposed to have what voltage or even or even how how they manage to work all i know is it works this way there has to be a voltage regulator inside of the cadex vista because the cadex vista will work anywhere from two to six s but i know damn well that camera is probably a five volt camera so somewhere in the circuitry inside that vista there's got to be a voltage regulator and if that voltage regulator got blown then the camera is getting no voltage, which means no picture. But the rest of the Vista may work without that. That may be a dedicated power supply. I don't know. I don't have a schematic or don't know enough about how the Vista works. So we're just going to have to approach this one cautious step at a time. And, and if I can't resurrect that thing, then the best thing, you know, we either have, you either have to replace it with another one, which is expensive, or send this whole mess back to Emacs and tell them to fix it, which they may or may not may not do yeah maybe fix it like under warranty no well I, you know it, not old no it, and it might be under warranty uh it's, but you know does your warranty cover all yeah well. two, <laughs> big, two big crashes you know <laughs> does I, it cover all <laughs> yeah does it yeah yeah does, <clears throat> does it say except bum don't does tell it say, them it was you know, me <laughs> your, your quad is covered except bum <laughs> Well, I mean, the, the reason I was asking that question, Mitch, is because um, I have an issue with my center pro. And, and, and what it's issues? A, my center pro. Okay. And it, and it uh, uses a Tartier camera, and it's pulling the, it, it's a 5-volt pad they're coming off of, a 5-volt connector. And it goes to a power distrib distribution board for the HD end of it. And when I say HD, I mean it's just um, a standard card like, with like a DVR on. Like yeah, it's it's the it's the it's the 4K DVR that, that from the Tarsi. Yeah, I I, right. I have one. Yeah, I've got one of those things. I know what you're talking about. So. The, the bird, I, I got OSD, um, but I got no video. And so it's the front section that's dead. And so there's a plug that plugs into the flight controller. It goes to the top board where there are no LEDs, but it says five to 24 volts, I think. Maybe it's 26. 4 to 26 volts. And where those power leads are soldered, I got 4.8 volts. 
and none of the DVR lights up. None of it. None of the LEDs huh. come on. So I'm thinking the five volt regulator on the flight controller is, is dead. Well, on some of these these cameras, I know what Carlos when when I built that just finished that Acrobrat for you. Um, um, yeah. The uh, that that camera, the uh, Runcam uh, hybrid, Nano Runcam two, whatever, it 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 could be powered from two to six S or five volts to twenty four volts or something like that. Okay, so theoretically, you could hook that camera to the five volt rail on the flight controller. Now, most of these five volt regulators on these flight controllers are one and a half to three amps maximum. Okay, that, that's, that, that's, they're designed to supply five volts, but that five volts runs the flight controller. If you have a camera hooked to the five volt source, it'll run the camera, your radio, your receiver, your crossfire will run off of five volts. But those things are all very, very low power devices. But if you hook up 50 LEDs on your drone, you could draw an amp and a half. There, an LED is 50 milliamps. One LED, one little, draws a full, steady lit, 50 milliamps. So, and and this, these cameras can draw quite a bit of current because of the, of of you know all the circuitry there, powering and the cameras, two cameras. And then if you've got analog system, you you you've got a maybe an 800 milliwatt VTX in. Most of those will run off of VBAT or five volts. And, but if you go and hook everything in a quad up to the five volt rail on the flight controller, chances, and you've got dual cameras and powerful VTXs and LEDs, chances are you, you, could, you, you could overdraw that regulator on the flight controller. So when, whenever you put these higher power devices like VTXs in, if you don't have a, a dedicated regulator like a eight volt, nine volt, 12 volt regulator, on, on the uh, flight controller, which is a perfect place to hook a VTX. Then you, you hook it to the battery, right? Right where the battery leads, solder onto now, the ESC. That is exactly what I was getting around to. Is oh. that because the front half of the bird is dead, basically. I mean, it'll fly, motor spin, all that crap. It's good, you know, it's good. I got BTX signal out of it, all of that. I just got oh, no so camera. it's just it's, it's just the camera. So maybe maybe uh, yeah, maybe but what I'm burn getting something at, out. What I'm getting at is the front part of the bird, the power wires from that five volt pad go to a board on top, and it sandwiched with the board underneath, which is where the DVR goes. Correct. And uh, the SD card, you know, that's the DVR section. And then that's all tied into the camera. So the input to that top board says 5 to 26 volts or whatever it says. That's what I'm thinking I'm, of trying to see if maybe that 5 volt regulator on the flight controller is bad. And just tie it in the main bat and see if I get any light. Well, uh, I'm looking it up here. I'm, I'm going to look up the manual if I can find it um, and get something big enough that I can see. A quick hello to Mr. Chris Hope, who Hi, has Chris. joined us. Hello, son. Good All to right. see you. This is Chris. I know. Where is is the the whole Tarsi Tarsier or Tarsier board right now is getting its power from the uh, flight controller? Yeah. Oh, is it is it on a five volt pad or is it on a pad that says VBAT or? Right now you say uh, it's getting. Oh, now I haven't looked at that. Um, I assumed it was a five volt pad for whatever reason. Well, it may very well be that they have an 8-volt regulator or 9-volt regulator on that board that's designed to power these cameras. So you need to see what it's, what it's hooked to. Uh, I'm having an awful hard time finding me a, a high-definition. 
schematic image of the schematic here. Let's try this one here. Cadex, no, that's the Loris. That's a whole different manual. Come on, Google. Cadex Tarsier manual. So, uh, Ed, if you uh, decide to fix it, you're going to use the camera that Al gave you or no? Well, I mean, it, I mean, I'm, I want to fix it. So the option is to um, try the camera Al sent me and for either that or throw full power to it, you know, I'll be back, you know. It's just, it's, I admit, the reason yeah. I assumed it was a 5-volt pad was because it's a plug that does um, power plus video, and usually, usually, from what I've seen, not that I have that much experience, but usually a pad that's combined with video is a 5-volt pad. Uh, yeah, yeah, for the camera it is, not for the VTX. A lot of times they put a, a, a higher voltage or even a VBAT pad I, for the I VTX. think the VTX comes off the main bat. Um, yeah, usually they VTX do. My VTX is still fine. It's just yeah, but the reason why part. people, the reason why people want to use um, VTX is off of the flight controller board is you're going to get a better filtered power. Usually on these regulators, you get cleaner power for the VTX. So what I've got here Mitch, quick is, interruption, saying hello to Yowie P51. I haven't hey, seen him how you doing? Chris Hope is here. Uh, this is, the, this is the, the schematic for that thing. Chris is you've, old got, news. Uh, you've got uh, pin number one is over here. Does this look familiar to you, Ed? Well, does I it, mean, does this picture look familiar? This is pin number one that says battery 4.2 volts. And then over here on pin three, it says three, five to 12 volts. Now that's in a, evidently that, that's, that's a pad, but it looks like it's part of a plug. So that might go off to the second board. Um, but I want to find the specs on this thing here. If, if the specs are anywhere where it says what the voltage range is. This is the manual for it. This is what you get. It's yeah, it's similar. not much. No, and and that even tells you how to work it. So that's it so, right there. So here's the problem, okay? So what you're showing, I mean, like that black square I see to the left. Yeah, that's the SD card slot. Right, okay, there's a board on top of that. There's a board on top of that, and the board on top of that has uh, it, there's a plug going into the flight controller and off of that, off the plug, the wires are soldered to the top of the board that goes on top of the DVR board. Well, this may be, uh, this may be a single board version. They, I think they made a, I think they made this a single a two board version. Yeah, but I think, they, I, I think they made, board version. I think they made a single board version of this thing, and that might have been the, the instructions I just had. But it's, it's one of these things. So, it, I mean, uh, the way I look at it, I'll just stick full voltage to it and see if anything lights up. If it doesn't, well, I'll throw that. The thing that I just, yeah, full voltage, but uh, is it a 3S or 4S or what's, what's full voltage? Uh, the bird that's on is a 4S bird. Okay, because that that thing I just looked at did have one pin that said 5 to 12 volts, but that's not 4S. 4S is around 16 volts, so... No, I mean, where where the power, the little plug that goes into the flight controller, where it comes up and is soldered on to what I assume is the power distribution board for the camera and DVR, where that where that soldered on at it says five to twenty six volts. It does. Okay. Well, 
give it a shot, man. What's the worst going to happen is it still doesn't work, you know? Yeah, exactly. I just replaced <laughs> the front end of the bird. That's it. Exactly. Yeah, there, you my point. there you go. How come you guys keep having so much trouble with all these highly technical cameras and everything? Got to keep you busy, man. the heck out of them. I don't want to be that busy, you know. <laughs> We've been joined by See, Dan and uh, Bob Casey Ariels. Dan Drew. Oh, hey, Bob. How you doing, Bob Casey and Dan? Good to see you guys. Uh, Steve Dubs, Mr. Casey. Yeah, you know, I, I keep thinking about how Bardwell handles these kind of things. The kind of question Bardwell, Bardwell gets on his streams are, which, which, what's the best VTX that you like? So he answers the question. But anytime he gets a question that requires that he's going to have to sit down with wiring diagrams and all that, he says, I, I, he says that's too complicated to handle on a live stream, email me. Because it's, these, these kind of things are almost, or, or somebody says, I hooked up my receiver and, I, and it won't work. What's the problem? Well, it could be any one of 50 different things, you know, and he will not address them on. And I, I always thought it'd be kind of fun to address some of these things on a live stream, but it's, it is next you to impossible. Your mind. <laughs> it, it is. It's almost like this problem with Ed's camera until, you know, if I had it in my hand, like I have Paulie's thing in here, I could come up with a game plan for trying to troubleshoot it. But it's not as simple as just a, a beta flight setting or something like that. It, it, it delves into uh, a, a fairly complex camera circuitry, and I have no knowledge of that. And I guarantee you, neither does Joshua Bardwell. He couldn't, tell, he couldn't answer that question either, because uh, not without the documentation for the, for the device. And even then, some of that stuff is, is, is Greek. So I wish I could help you, Ed, but I don't think... Uh, it's okay, man. By, uh, I, just, I wanted to get your opinion on my, and I will tell you this, too, is that Minnesota Paul suggested, why don't you just stick a 9-volt battery to where you have, to the leads that come off of the um, front end of the system, and see if you get any LEDs lighting up. Yeah, you what light? I would do, you could, you know... The, the, the first, the essence of, you, well, you know how to troubleshoot. You're an electrician. First thing yeah. you, you, you try to do is, is uh, start, you start with the, with the highest level you can, okay? You know, if you got two things coming in into a box and the box doesn't work, okay? So you got to find out, you know, which one of the things coming in is broken first. Uh, in computer repair, they, they do that with board swapping. You know, the, the you know the, the, the monitor doesn't work. Okay, so first thing we do is we try a different monitor. Okay, it still doesn't work. Well, now we know it's not the monitor. Let's go to the to the video card. So we'll try a different video card. Ah, now it works. Okay, now it was the video card. So you're doing board level swapping. Same thing with this camera on Polly's quad. First thing I do, I take the camera out. I, I try another camera. If that doesn't work, I know the problem wasn't the camera, it's before the camera. So the, the next thing might be the cable got broken in the crash. Those things are hair size wires in there, one of them got broken. So you replace the cable. And if it still doesn't work, then you know you got a bigger problem because it's some something inside that main unit and there is no user level repair for that kind of stuff. That the has to go back to the fact is you don't know that that cable you got with a hair size cable is right either. It well, when you get wrong you, with it. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. So, so I tried to buy another one, but they were out of stock. So I will hunt around and see if I can't buy another one of those cables. So that I know that, that I have... Uh, now, the other thing I could do is I could take my brand new Vista, take the camera off of it, put Paulie's camera on here, but if there's something wrong with the camera that shorts out my brand new, it could work both ways. In other words, the camera could oh, destroy no, it. So, so, so I'm, I'm a little hesitant to burn up hundreds of dollars worth of stuff doing component swapping. So let's start with a cheap camera and we'll swap that in. The rest of the stuff that's wrong with this is, 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 is piece of cake. It's just a little, you know, I want to resolder the motor wires. I want to fix that broken... Uh, ground lead off the board, get that all soldered up in the capacitor and 
Uh, and after that, it's just getting the video transmission thing to work. Uh, which uh, is how, did I hear you say earlier that the camera is both analog and digital, the one you're getting? Yeah. Yeah, the one. Yeah, they they made a camera. It's a combination. It has it, it has both the the uh, JST connector on it for the uh, you know like most analog cameras do, and it even comes with a little joystick so you can set the analog settings, the brightness, the contrast, all that other stuff, and yet it's got a digital connector. Well, and like the only problem with, the with it right? is that the, that the uh, the the image. You know these guys, these reviewers on YouTube. They, it's not quite. It's not really as good as the as the DJI camera. So, Cadex has been improving it, and they came out with the Nebula Pro, and the reviewers finally said, "Hey, this is just about as good as the DJI camera." And it is. It's a great camera, the uh, Nebula Pro. So now we got a, a whole new thing with DJI to check out and see, and that's the. Uh, the new air unit that CADEX is making, although it looks just surprisingly like the old air unit with a CADEX camera instead of a DJI camera on it. So, I think all those, I think all of the, all of those uh, transmission units, both the air unit and the one that comes with the CADEX Vista, are manufactured by DJI. That's a DJI product, and then they send them off to CADEX, and the CADEX connects the camera and markets the whole package. Uh, they actually had a deal with Eosheen. Those were those cheap ones that I bought. I bought two of them. Eosheen Vista. It wasn't even Cadex. But it was a Cadex camera with an Eosheen name on it. So it turns out Eosheen is more, is not really a manufacturer. They're kind of a, a coordinator. They, they uh, a packager. They, they, they find people. You'll find that their stuff is identical to other people's stuff. With, with the other people's name on it. They're just repackaging product uh, and putting their name on it, so. As long uh, as it's getting sold. Yeah, yeah, so, but so I, Mitch, I. Going back to that yes. uh, that three inch, not the, not Paul's uh, HD. It, can you put a all-in-one uh, flight controller in there and work from there no. in the camera? No, no, no. Why would I want to put an all-in-one flight controller in it? What's Instead in it of now? The stack. Uh, a stack. Looks like right? a Mamba stack. Yeah. Yeah. I think it needs a new but, Mamba stack, personally. Yeah. It, it, the, these old frames, they didn't. Ha they don't. Ha the the all-in-one controllers they usually have the 25 by 25 mounting holes, and they mount at a 45 degree angle. This frame doesn't uh, okay. accommodate that. Number one. Number two is, th there. Why put all your eggs in one basket unless you have to for a particular reason? The reason they use these all-in-one controllers is because they're so light, but you pop an ESC on it, the whole controller is gone. Whereas there, yeah. if you have a split board, you pop an ESC, you only, you only uh, have to replace half of it. a strong frame, I figured it'd be a good it. frame for him to start with. Oh, he, yeah, he could this thing, he can fly this thing through a brick wall, for God's sakes. I mean, you know, that's a good idea for Paul. Time. Okay. No, I'm serious. That's exactly why. When, when we took it out last time, he crashed. Well, two of them were failsafe, and then he oh, tried man. to fly low, and he f cut the grass. So, uh, who's He's coming on it. tonight at eight o'clock? That every that half of my audience just disappeared. I don't know. Somebody's coming. Or, or are we just that? Or are we just that boring tonight? What's the deal, guys? Might be a combination of both. I don't know. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Anyway, sure. guys, let let me. Uh, let me uh, say something about because because I can the uh, the drone meetup the Space Coast drone meetup next year. Ah uh, yes. I want to show you something. Let me get it going here. Oh great! You know, halfway whenever I try to play a video halfway through my stream, something freezes. Um, Something freezes on my computer. Yeah, it's like, and then it'll finally it'll finally start working again after a few minutes. But uh, drives me nuts. It does this every time. How often do I say I go to play a video, right. and then uh, it just won't play? Hey, yeah, you, I rem, uh, <sighs> on one of my Tiny Hawk flights, I remember you taking some camera and videotaping my Tiny Hawk on the floor. What did you do with any of that footage? I keep forgetting to ask you. 
You were what? recording. You were recording something with some kind of camera at the uh, at the meetup. Do you remember? Okay. Yes, and I have not even looked at it. Oh, okay. All right, One guys. Day when you think about it, go ahead, Mitch. I I went ahead and I went ahead and uh, and narrated, but this is here. Well, here we are at uh, Kiwanis Park on the 192 Causeway. It's called Geiger Point. This uh, this particular park is inside the Melbourne Airport airspace, but uh, it's easy to get the Lance approval, and uh, with Lance approval, you have four 400 feet altitude limit here which is what we're used to so I think that uh, not so much for FPV but for uh, actually a group of cat drone guys that want shut to up I'm talking and, uh, <laughs> and fly their drones out at this beautiful place even it's think about windy. interrupting him oh and you know I didn't mute him which is something you can generally count on um, close to the water wherever you are but I think for a sunrise little excursion or just a nice little God, time beautiful of flying there's is. plenty of plenty of places out here to to launch your drone from adequate parking the only thing you have to be careful of is you don't miss the turnoff coming from the mainland or you got to go all the way over the bridge to the beach and find a place to turn around and come all the way back now when you do come back there is a dedicated left turn lane into the park before you get to the traffic but this uh, this is beautiful and thanks to Jim for pointing this out to me what time of the day I think it would be a gorgeous place that was about 10 o'clock. To have as morning. one of the flying sites for, uh, now, wait, for our meetup. It gets better. Buddha girls? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Got a nice smell of salt air here, which is why you come to Florida. Over here, it's a nice covered gazebo uh -huh. where we can kind of headquarter if we get out here early and uh, just beautiful, just beautiful. Ed, say something now while you're not talking. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he said he muted me. I'm just saying no, that I Carlos and you. Shit would be flying their freestyle and shit through those, under those trees. I, I'm taking, uh, uh, tomorrow morning I'm going out there and, and shoot a sunrise, okay? And I'm taking my uh, Tiny Hawk 2 with me, and I'm going to fly it all over the place around there. Because you can fly a small quad. Well, breezy this morning, but like I said, you can usually expect to have a little breeze virtually anywhere that you go, where you're uh, where you're near the water. Doesn't that sound beautiful? It's beautiful, though. Yeah, I'll be right back. Go to the bathroom. No, hello to Mike Very Rose. Tranquil. By the way, he just <laughs> <talked>. <laughs> Hey, Mike. And I think a great place. So when fly, you say 192, fly your camera drones. That's next, Beautiful. right next to downtown Melbourne. Okay, Home that's trees. the 192 I'm familiar with. Yeah. Is that going to Kissimmee? Uh, yeah. If you keep going about 50 miles west of here, you'll be in Kissimmee. But uh, is that a gorgeous spot? Look at that. I mean, 
Looks good. Beautiful. I, I I don't want to say anything, but I think it's a hell of, it's a lot prettier than the place we were this year. And it's bigger it too. More, I mean, it's more just, wind protection. That's for sure. That's got a lot, but there's a lot of open grass areas and and uh, not a lot of dirt and sand either. All right, you Mitch, know, right it's all there paved, on the right. Paved. Could, you, could you put a chair and sit under those trees? They're not going to bother you. You can do anything you want out there. It's a park. Okay, just wondering if they have designated places. Yeah. To put anyway, you. that's uh, that's that's it. Looks nice. Uh, I think. Looks real nice. I think that. So is so, that which which side of the intercoastal is that, Mitch? Or it's on the main. It's on the main. It's on the mainland side. No, you're on okay. 192. You just come through downtown Melbourne. You just get to where the bridge is. And right there, you take a, a, a gear off to the right, before, right before the bridge starts to go up, and the park is down there. You saw where the bridge was. It, it, it's south yeah. of the bridge. Yeah, I'll have, uh, after I get done shooting the uh, aerial stuff, I'll make a video of the whole, I call them site preview videos. It'll be number three. And I'll post it on YouTube, and it'll have, a, and then I'll put it on the website too, and it'll have a map shows exactly where it is and uh, we'll talk so, we'll talk so on. but i think that that for the guys that want the tropical type location the water and you know the, the park and the pretty gazebo and all of this is place this where is, you can uh, wear my shirt i'll be public. right back mitch i'm sorry okay Paul. what what time of the day was that Matt? Ten. i shot that was about 10 o'clock and it was and you know yeah this morning it wasn't oh, blowing fast. too hard. I mean, it would have been easy to fly. You could have flown there today. Yeah, with this wind, it wasn't. But it's always breezy by the water. It's very, very rarely is it ever dead calm. Okay, here's one thing I have found. Being a sailor for many years, <laughs> um, there's a time of the day when the wind, the sea breeze, and the land breeze kind of fight with each other. And so there's not much wind at all, you know, and you learn to recognize these signs as a sailor, because if you don't have a motor on your boat, it's time to get the shore. Yeah. Well, I could tell you one thing for sure. There's, I, ha, I, I found in my life two tremendous wind, wind predictors, Ed. Um, one of them was every time I went sailing, Every time I tried to go sailing, the, Maybe. what do I hear? Grandma's got those little uh, oh. pull-out drawers. Paul, mute yourself. All right, I muted them. Uh, yeah, I don't want to hear about grandma's drawers anymore. Um, <laughs> the uh, anytime I went sailing or even thought about going sailing, there was it was like dead calm, it was automatic. So if you ever wanted to know when a dead calm day was going to be, just find out any day that I had plans to go sailing with anybody. And that is automatic dead calm. The other sure wind predictor is a switch on my radio that whenever I, to go fly, whenever I click it, the wind blows 30 knots right off the automatic. Uh, so I have two, two predictors like that. Both statements are entirely true. Yeah. <laughs> I call it auto wind. Say, watch, Say, no wind. Quick, grab a flight. Click. Poof, there you go. So, now of course I'm being facetious, but uh, but anyway, I, I I went out there. Uh, Jim Jim has filmed out there a couple of times. It's I'd never actually been to the place. It is frigging gorgeous. I'll go out there just to hang out. It's just a beautiful beautiful spot. All you know, well manicured and and pathways and uh, and then sure enough, I come across this the gazebo which. It's exactly the same as the gazebo we had down there last year. You know, same size and everything. That's the park system. They probably built out of the same plans. And right right there. And plenty of room and plenty of frontage on the water. Seawall wrapped around the whole mess. And uh, it's gorgeous. I, I think uh, I'll have to go down there on a, and check it out on a weekend. Uh, or I'm, I'll maybe give the park service a call and see if you can reserve those for special events. And that would even be better. So we'll we'll check it out, uh, but uh, sometime during one of the four days, uh, we'll we'll uh, probably want to have a, uh, have something out there. And uh, if it is a busy place on the weekend, then we do it on a on one of the weekdays. 
Um, I was going to say, you know, Thursday or Friday might exactly. be the perfect time. I mean, there was nobody. I was I was out there today. I saw one other person jogging around the track. I mean, and that was Friday morning. So uh, uh, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to have a couple non weekend days for this event, so that we we could hit up some of these places when the locals weren't uh, absolutely out there. But it's uh, just, gorgeous. Just it, for the it, record, it's a gorgeous Mike, place. Mike Roche mentioned that you need some girls in bikinis, and Mike uh, Night Train has joined us, by the way. Oh, hey, Mike, Mike and Mike. Doing? Mike and Mike. Yep. And uh, yeah, uh, and okay, Carlos, uh, you bring the you bring the girls in bikinis. There you go. Well, I can I tell need Paul because every time I tell Paul the girls looking at me, he goes, "Yeah, they're looking at you to try to get to me." <laughs> <laughs> Mike Kenny says, "Bring a drink with a little umbrella." Yeah. Anyway, I think that's going to be a I think that's going to be another potentially great great spot for uh, both camera drones and and tiny whoops. You know, for small. Small little whoops to fly in and around the trees and stuff do like they, that. Do the do the ultralights still fly off the Melbourne Causeway? No, I haven't seen them. Um, haven't. I, I don't know if these gentlemen or these people are aware of what a causeway is, because along the Indian River, which is a very wide river around Melbourne and O'Galley, um. They have one tall bridge to let big sailboats and stuff go through. But just like the causeway we were at this year, um, a lot of it is just dirt with a road leg on top of it. And yeah, yeah. They build, they build it like they build the dirt out into the, so they don't have to build a bridge. They just start p piling truckloads of dirt, make a finger of land out there. Ed, can you go back to the third sentence? I missed after that. What are you, uh, Carlos is writing it down? He's what taking is notes. I'm oh. taking notes about the causeway. Just, I want to make sure I can. <laughs> no, man, some of my best sailing was I put in off a of causeway, either off Pinega Causeway, O'Galley Causeway, <laughs> or the Melbourne Causeway. Oh, okay. Okay. Here's the, uh, Carlos is making fun. Carlos no, is just I'm being really, Carlos, I'm you know. I'm reading my unlimited vertical road. <laughs> what did he write? You can send me your notes after the meeting. Yeah. Okay, guys. Here's the uh, here's 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 the here's where I was today. Okay. So if you look at if you look at it, this is the causeway 192 causeway from the mainland over to uh, to the beach. If I go out even further and go down here, here's Malabar Road. Here's Palm Bay right in this area. So this is where the host hotel is going to be right at this this corner here. Uh, I live up here, right up here, and uh, this is the uh, Melbourne International Airport. So the five mile uh, radius around here encompasses all of this. But it, it, you can, you know, you want to fly there, get a Lance Clear, get out your cell phone, get a Lance Clearance, and you're in business. It's, it, it takes 10 seconds, and uh, and it's perfectly legal. I'm sure some guys will go out there and fly without the clearance, but that's between them and the FAA, not me. Uh, I'm going to go fly there in the morning and, t and I'll get a clearance. It's, a, it's, it's very easy to do. But this causeway right here, if you look, has got this, this park. And the sidewalk where I was walking, let me, let me see if I can get a, get a satellite picture here. And while you're uh, looking for that satellite view, I just want to welcome Mr. Brad Alston. It's hey, Brad. Oh, hi, Brad. So is Good this evening, the satellite Brad. No, that's not the satellite view. Where's the button for the satellite view on a stupid map? There's always a button. There's always a button for a satellite view. Zoom out some more. Maybe it's like zoom. Maybe it's. Well, I'm. I'm. I mean, well, I guess I not. <laughs> plus minus. Not really. Terms of use map data. It's got pictures over here. Let me close that. Huh. <coughs> That's very strange. That I can't get the uh, the Google Maps view.
Here it is. We'll do it this way. Okay, so this is this is where I told you you have to turn in before you get to the bridge. And that's the that's the little park right there. It's got the sidewalk all the way around that I walked. The uh, the gazebo was over here, but plenty of why plenty of open places out from the trees to uh, to take your drones off. And then from there, you get uh, you know nice views of downtown Melbourne. Nice views of this big high. It's a big high bridge too. It's uh, one of these. It's it's a bridge that's high enough for big sailboats to go under, and even. Nice views of the beach, and there's the ocean over here. So, that, nice, nice out of the way place to fly with the uh, with some real pretty. Uh, How far pretty is views. that from your place, Mitch? About six miles. Really, that close? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, my place is uh, is right here. Gotcha. Right here, it's where I live. Right, right, right here. And the flying field. The uh, park. Palm Bay. Yeah. Palm Bay Park is. Uh, Malabar Road, right here. Got, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, and, and so the hotel, close. and the hotel was right here at ninety-five. Yeah, so everything is within you know five, five, six, seven, eight miles. Because here's here's the hotel right here, and here's the the one ninety-two park right here, and the Palm Bay Park is about five miles out west that way. So if you had to go from the park to 192, it's probably 10 miles. That's, and, I, and, we're, and we've got, Jim's got some other, uh, other places that are out in the boondocks, like airboat kind of stuff, you know, uh, mm -hmm. with catfi catfish restaurants and some swampy places, you know, nice uh, wetlands. and. Uh, we have Ed. He can translate for us. He speaks that. Yeah. The now, swamp thing. Yeah, so I think uh, I think that uh, I mean I I had never been out there. I was amazed to find it. There's also here's here's this here this point here, but right here, right around the corner from it, is uh, well, so nice picturesque place. Would be a nice picturesque place to fly. Of it's course, like you could home. you could certainly fly from right yeah. over here over to there and take pictures if you wanted. Yeah, that could be a private house, right? Yeah, there's another there's another little park right in here too. Cloud Edge Front Street Park. That's so, a park. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. And there's a big parking lot right there. Looks like they the own, they have their own private police there also. <laughs> Get away! From no, me. Melbourne's Melbourne's a Melbourne's not a not a one of those kind of towns. Yeah, they're, no. they're okay. Oh, okay. No. They're fine. You know, they won't they won't bother you. But that. Uh, so later in the week, look for a video uh, that'll have that walk around. Now, the most amazing thing. So I'm out there this morning and I had some, I went out to the park and flew, flew quads a little bit, went out real early. And then I said, ah, let me drive over there to Kiwanis Park and check that out. And uh, the uh, uh, I didn't have my uh, DJI uh, quads. I had some. I just had some FPV quads with me, and so I said, "Well, you know, I don't have a quad to fly, but while I'm here, let me just do a walk around. You know, a walk around with." The... So I had my GoPro in the car, and I said, "Ah, hell with it. I, I, let me just use my cell phone. It'll be good enough. And uh, if it isn't good enough when I come back, I'll do it again with the GoPro." So that video that I just showed you guys. Um, was uh, was shot with my cell phone, and come to find out, well, guys, here we are at. Uh, let me turn the Kiwanis Park. Let me turn on the, the one sound off. Come to find out, my friggin' cell phone takes better video than my GoPro does. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting there. No, I'm. I mean, look at the stabilization on that. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'm walking, and it's not even the GoPro bounces when I walk. Huh. And uh, look at it, look at the color. Oh, look good. 
Oh, I, it looks better than a $10,000 cine camera. And it's a friggin' cell phone. Can't believe we it's get amazing. to see this twice. How lucky are we? Man. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I couldn't believe it. I'm going to start using my cell phone for most of this stuff. And the microphone, even the, it didn't pick up the, any wind noise because, you know, these cell phones have five different microphones in them with noise canceling and all kinds of crap. It sound good. Why are we buying cameras? That's what I want to know. Why are we paying money for cameras anymore? Good question. Looks like the wind is blowing fairly good. I don't see any white caps. No, it was probably 10 plus, 10 to 12 out there. You see the trees? Certainly flyable. Certainly even Certainly flyable for FPV. They were like they were. Oh, no, Saturday. nothing like nothing like we had at the meet. But uh, what I couldn't get what, what I couldn't get over was the uh, was the color, the quality of color and the exposure and and the change from exchange of exposure how smooth it was when you and I got home and I threw it up on my... Um, no, it's it's a uh, OnePlus 8 Pro. OnePlus is a company. Uh, kind of, it, it's kind of on par with the Samsung Galaxy, you know, cameras. Or yeah, the Pixel Galaxy cameras. Yeah, I'm very happy with. Yeah, this thing... But I couldn't get over... Honest to God, I just couldn't get over the colors. And the stabilization... Looks Neat, huh? damn good. Yeah. See that thing over there? You know what that is? Garbage. For fishing line. You're, yeah, for fishing hooks. It's a place to throw away fishing hooks so that don't, people don't get all tangled up with them in the trash can and everything. Anyway. Well, that, main, uh, it's, main, it's mainly for fishing line, actually. Fishing line? Oh, so it doesn't get... Caught in critters' mouths and stuff. Oh, okay. I get it. I okay, guess since you're sharing, I want to share away, the fishing line doesn't. Can I share a video? Uh, yeah, Carlos, you can certainly share a video you. if you'd like. Just to no let problem. you know that I buzz everybody, family included. Is it up? It's up. This is my nephew came with his kids, and that's my mom. See that lady? You buzz your mom? You I buzz buzzed everybody. Your mom? Of course. That's my sister. She got, whoa. They just kept walking, like, uncontrollable. So, do you think they all want to just... You think they just want to kill you, Carlos? You no, think they love that's, me. Look, that's, no, that's not your house. No, that's my mom. She's across the street. I was going to say. I crashed into a potato salad, but not that time. <laughs> See what happens when you're not familiar with a place. You just crash into everything. <laughs> oh, look, there's the kids. The kids loved it. Look, don't they must Charlie, love you to put up Charlie to ride along. Look, you see. Oh, uh, look, he's got the goggles on. on. And they I must the love you to put up with that's you, Carlos. Nephew. Of course. Look, you see that lady, Mitch? That's my mom. She's 86. She got to go. Look, his head. <laughs> see, we hit him in the head. Rad RH. I'm looking at the chat <laughs> here. Rad RH says we should find out who owns the Malabar Annex Air Force Base. Look at a little you know. girl. A little girl is adorable. That's my sister. And that's her son. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, wow. he looks totally interested. <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> No, he's is, like. Is Jim in here? Is, is, is above my drones? Is he in the chat? You mean Jim above and beyond, right? Yeah, see him no, above my drone. <laughs> Whoop, yo, yo. See, they don't panic. They trust me. It looks like everybody's having a good time except for look the guy. Look oh, look he's at the just, feet up in he's here. He's tired because he, he, he drove from Rhode Island and he had to drive back. That's three yeah, hours. Yeah, I know. He just, when can I get the hell out of here? He doesn't look too happy. Who is that? That's my nephew. He doesn't he's look tired. too happy. He's got his, he's, he's got his he's got hands it. crossed. He's saying, are you done? Are you through? No, it's not about the drone. He's just tired. He just drove three hours and change. Look. Oh. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gets a break. Now, you see her? That's my sister. Yeah. How old do you think she is? If you had to guess. I, I, I didn't get that just, good a look at her. Oh, okay. She looks pretty good to me for her age. 
He's yeah. like 67, I think. Yep. How old is she? 67. No kidding. Uh, too old for me. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, way too old. Way too old for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, she'd kill you, uh, Mitch. <laughs> no, she wouldn't either. <laughs> she would. Trust me. No. <laughs> you know what she? She. There was one time uh, she was on the New York City subway, of course, and uh, some guy put his uh, his hand on her on her thigh, and she just went whack. Oh. <laughs> the guy, guy goes, what happened? She goes, you know what happened. She has no fear. Man. <laughs> you mess with her, she'll kick your ass. That's, I, uh, but, I mean, she's, she's, she's tough. That's where I learned my shit from. My, she lived near you, Carlos? Regal Park, yeah. All right. Oh, you know man, what? I'll, check, I'll check that out, Rhett. He, he wants me to check out an old Air Force base. It's closed. Okay, so... I think it was the last day of the meet, Sunday. Mm -hmm. And Carlos leaves after we go by Cumberland Farms. <laughs> well, it wasn't Cumberland, so what was it? <laughs> it was across the street. It was a Circle K, Circle K, yeah. <laughs> he kept talking about Cumberland Farms, and I'm like, what the hell are who's Cumberland Farms, you know? And so he goes, well, we're going to Cumberland Farm. And so we go there. And I'm like, that's not Cumberland Farms. That's across the street. This is the Circle K. Well, we got Cumberland Farms all over the place down here. Yeah, well, they're not up here, okay? Oh, so anyway. man, that's the, that's, the, that's the best gas station. Because they got a deal. They got ten a deal. Cents a gallon, ten cents a gallon off. If you... If you have a, they have a, 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 a direct uh, withdrawal, the ACH thing. If you get their card and you use their card, it comes out of your checking account the next day. Okay. Instead of like a credit card, you know, just like if you pay a bill online with, uh, with, with your bank account. So you set it up and, and, and it's approved to, to pull out of your bank account. And you get 10 cents a gallon discount if you, if you use All that right, card. Okay. And the reason... The reason they give you the ten cents a gallon is they don't have to pay the three percent credit card fee. There's no there's no percentage fee for those direct check withdrawal things. So now, they're saving. I, I get that. I get that. But the other reason they do that is so that you'll also come in and buy other shit in their store that is overpriced. Well, of course. But the thing about it is not only that, but ever since I got that card like four years ago. I don't think I bought a gallon of gas from anybody else because I got that ten cent a gallon discount. I'm going to take advantage of it. So you talk right. about locking in, locking in a that damn customer. Deal. That's some of the most brilliant marketing that I've ever seen. It costs them well, absolutely nothing because instead of paying the three percent credit card fees, they don't. They pay. They pass that on to you as a customer. They charge more for credit cards. My point stuff is. Here. My point is, is that they, when you go there, Mitch, I bet the only thing you go there for is gas. Oh, me? I never walk into the store. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Because I don't eat, I don't eat any of the crap they sell anyway. But I, but at least once a week, I do get an email from them saying, uh, I, uh, free soda, free coffee, free this. You just got to come in there and you hold up your app with the uh, QR code. And the guy scans it from the register, and you get a free coffee. I mean, so oh, I, I've cool. done I've done that a couple of times. I've gone in there, saved my ten cents a gallon, gone in and got a buck and a half dollar, dollar and a half cup of coffee for free, and went away. It's it's, it's anybody that good, lives man. down here. Life is good. Yeah, it, it's uh, it, All right, it's Mitch, terrific. One more share of the uh, past meetup that we did. Yeah, I think you were doing a live stream. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. I see it. Having fun buzzing you guys. It was a little breezy in the morning. Well, you saw the video I posted, Carlos, where Ken Dono and I flew down there this a uh, couple of days yeah, ago. Yeah. Right, right here at this place. Uh, that's where. That's oh, where. Is that up, Mitch? Yeah, it's up. It's up on the channel. Uh, that's the flight that I was showing. That's the flight that I was playing uh, when uh, uh, during the intro. 
which I'll be happy to show you guys again. Oh, no. <laughs> Ed? What? I think he Ed, wants Ed to asked, watch time. So Ed you wants sh to you see. Should, you it's a, watch listen, time. <laughs> this is a great, this was a great flight, guys. And, you know, you, you should, you should watch it. You should watch it. I did. There was, that was me in the green shirt holding the cell phone. There I am. <laughs> Woo. The yeah, the shirt you had 20 years ago. 15. That's it. Yeah, same shirt. Yeah, same shirt and pants. No, the pants were new, but the shirt. I still have, <laughs> I, have I have clothes. I have, I have clothes that are probably 40 years old, you know. So Why, buy too, I'm just messing with Why you. buy new clothes when the old ones still work, you know. I'm with you. I joke around with people. I see young young kids, young people. I say, I have shoes older than you. <laughs> it's probably true. Is that it, Carlos? What happened? What happened? Froze. I'm not playing anymore? It froze up. It's not really? moving. Yeah, it yeah. froze. Oh, screw it. Let's watch yours. I don't know. Something with my internet, maybe. Okay. Let's watch well, yours. Since, since, let's watch mine. Okay. Let's watch mine. Here we go. And uh, I started up here. And so you guys can... was your Ken Dango was there. Yeah, no, this is this is the marmot though. So this is the video that Carlos said I was playing back at one and a half times speed. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I did like your first flight over your second. Well, okay, the second Ed, was Ed, this... Ed, Ed, Ed. Let me just. I'm sorry to interrupt. Ed, I want you to check out how he is following Ken Dono on a. No, no, you won't. That's not on this video. This is just oh. the raw camera footage from the flight. No, this was good. You can see that. You can see that on my channel. But this, this marmot, this was the first flight I flew on it since I upped the PWM frequency from up to 48K. You know what that means? What I just said? No. In the ESC, there's a, what they call PWM frequency. It's it's how fast the uh, the ESC is is looping, and you can uh, uh, increase the frequency, which s makes it a little smoother on the motor. Motor's a little smoother. Uh, it cuts a little of the low end torque, but not so much as you'd notice. So I uh, adjusted, I, I raised this to 48k on this, and man, the the, the quad flew like a, a a different quad. It was smooth as silk. Hmm. Well, maybe it's just because you decided not to be Miss Daisy or something. I think that's part of it. I, I think he flew smoother because he was flying faster. Because it's easier to fly fast. Look, look, look! look. I, I, like I, 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 that's what I'm saying. Now, maybe it could have some of the stuff to do with that 48 kilohertz. Jet. But it was smooth. It was smooth. All I know it, is that I, PWM sounds like women problems to me. No, yeah, I mean, I'm looking pretty good. I'm looking pretty good, man. Now, is Look, that whole very, big field, a cricket field or something? What is yep. it? Is it cricket, yeah, like cricket field. That's, yeah. that's a good place to fly. That's a good place to fly. Yeah, I mean, you but got wanna, these trees. I, you can whip to, in and around these trees if you want to. You, you know, know why I did not like, or I didn't feel comfortable, I should say, doing that? Because there were people uh, walking, yeah. and you never know. But this is what it's like on a, on a weekday. I mean, this was... Uh, no, this was actually uh, nice. Was it Friday, Thursday, or Friday of last week? No, it was Saturday morning. We were out there Saturday morning early, eight o'clock in the morning. Because he was over here for the weekend to, with his family, and uh, before they got started, he stole away for an hour or so. And then I went from here over to the other field and flew uh, airplanes with the guys. But that marmot gets up and scats, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does, and it looks really fast when you're low like that. Man, you you learn to fall in love with the low climb. Oh, I I like I like that, and I also like to get up high and look around. And well, I do that too. You just like to get high. <laughs> I like to get high. I said it in the film. And I, and I said, I said, I said that in my video. I said sometimes it's fun to just get high. I was talking about oh, well, Tommy. I, I was talking about Tommy Chung high. <laughs> I was too. <laughs> Tommy Chung. There's the cricket pit. Okay, now watch this, Ed. I decided, now we were sitting back in the parking lot, okay? So I said, okay, I'm going to get ballsy and I'm just going to fly right right back in into me. There we are. <laughs> we. 
died. Under the tree. And Ken Ken was leaning up against the car with with his goggles on. He went for a ride That's along. cool, man. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Nice one. I enjoyed I enjoyed that flight. Hey, uh, Paul. Talk to me. Are you there? There you are. Come on, let's oh, let's go. I'm out here. I'm fucking away from the camera. Let's go sorry. for a few days and fly with uh, Mitch. Yeah, okay, yeah, go. anytime. Come on down, man. We could have our own little private private flying anytime. Serious. I'm up for it. What do you think, it. Paul? I'm up for it. <laughs> well, Is that no, a, supposed know. to be a Hawaiian jerk, Paul? No, this yeah. is not Hawaiian. It looks more like mafia stuff from this is Las Florida Vegas. shirt, not Hawaiian. I feel so. These, these are, uh, what are they called? Black. No, that's, that's tropical. Well, my shirt's black too, yeah. but it's got tropical. It's got flowers on it and everything. Yeah, yeah well, but I don't know, but it's dark, and dark this, in the Florida sun is not good. This well, is this kitchen, is a tropical shirt too. But... Material here. Oh, that, yeah. yours is dark too, Matt. That, I yeah. would find that. Actually, hot. I like mine over yours. Technical. Carlos, I mean, Carlos I like the is, color. Yeah. It's nice, blue and white. Yeah, I have pajamas that look like that. It's really <laughs> nice. <laughs> I got kitchen, kitchen curtains that look curtains. like that. Kitchen yeah. curtains, yeah, exactly. yeah, sheet. You know, yeah, yeah, a comforter on my bed looks just like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, Carlos has some pants that look kind of pajama in this suit. Well, you and know, you need a pair of. Stuff that, Rodney Dangerfield would wear on the golf course. Right, and, and and you need a pair of those plaid golf pants with that shirt, man. In a different, in a totally different color, you know, so that it really clashes. There you go. There you go. So oh, then man, your wife can you. say, "You're not going to wear that, are you?" <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a time where my wife used to get embarrassed with just. Like if I open my mouth, she goes, "Oh no, what's he gonna say now?" I was like, "She's a, she's beyond what I'm gonna wear." <laughs> Twenty-four years, June twenty-second. Can you imagine? Coming up, she's a little crazy. Yeah, I'm sure Liz has long gotten over you embarrassing her because she's exactly. gotten used to it. Exactly. It's like, all right, people know him already. Can't get any worse. <laughs> I. Uh, twenty nine years going here, man. Twenty nine in July. That's cool. Yeah, July fourth. Wait, that's near your birthday too. My birthday's July second and third. Yep. My anniversary's on July fourth. All right, Mitch. Really? So this. Yeah. My first wife was July fourth. Was our anniversary. My, oh, my wow. first marriage. Yeah. What what was it you called her the other day, Max? A wonderful my first being. psycho, my yeah, second psycho. No, it was my that. second, my second psycho. My first wife wasn't a psycho. My second one. Check out this yeah. car, Mitch. Comes out of Which nowhere. Car? That one. <laughs> oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it, obviously. Uh, oh, that that's great. That's a great shot, man. Right, right underneath. But again, flying low like we were just talking about. This is uh, the other side of where I flew with your quad. That's Paul and uh, Charlie. Where oh, this is, is Charlie. Charlie? This is Charlie's first acro field. Oh, this is field. Char Oh, okay. This is where he did acro. I've raced other cars here. Not to, you know some more successful than others. A few buses, right Ed? What kind of quad? Here. What quad was that? The freestyle. Believe it or not. Oh, okay. Well, I guess something goes pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah, like freestyle is a very fun bird. I just want to show you one thing because Charlie has this habit. Of, let me see if this is it. The stance. No. Well, the stance is. Oh uh, yeah, funny. this is a good one with Charlie. No, there's one where. Yeah. So what happens with Charlie is, he goes out into the field. To look yeah. for his quad while you're flying. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Charlie, you got to let us know before you do that. I tell him. But uh, <laughs> watch, watch what happened. This one shot, and it was like perfect. He was perfectly camouflaged. Check it out. It happens in the first seven seconds. I'm taking off. Six, five, four, three. Oh, <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> 
he was behind the tree when Carlos took off. Uh, I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but we oh, had a lot of fun, funny. man. See how close I got to him? That was potential. Paul, don't you have a wonderful uh, flight of yours to, to share? I don't have anything here, do I? I don't know. No. Oh, okay. I do actually so you, know I have an extra uh, right here. Talk to me. This um this flight here was one where I was was uh following Ken on his skateboard. Attempting to. Hello, Brian Bianc. Yeah. Now, Paul Hey Brian. I'm listening. Paul, that <laughs> that camera that camera is the uh the camera that we're talking about, the cheaper oh, wow. digital. Yeah. yeah. Plenty fine. So how bad is that? It's Horrible. not bad, is it? No, yeah, it's not hard. I mean, no, seriously, it, it's... Oh, no, yeah, it's perfect. I don't need anything more than that. You know me, I'm not that picky. Well, and what I'm saying, I've been, I've, been, I've been making videos with that camera. Nobody's ever said shit about it. I, I think it's fine. It's better no. than the shit I've been putting up with the uh, camera that was on it. Yeah, and that's a goggles recording, too. Because so that's goggles, just a yeah, the goggles uh, pixelization in there and all that. There's nothing wrong uh, with that at all, Matt. No, that's what I'm saying. So everybody was saying how bad a camera it is, and I'll tell you, for a cheap, for the cheap camera that works both di digital and analog, uh, the only thing it does, if you look at the lower left-hand corner, you get a little vignetting. See that cut off? Uh, I see it. Yeah. And I don't know if I don't know if that might be the frame. It may not be the camera. It may actually be some of the of the frame. But uh, when, anyway, what I know. It might I be the frame. the frame. Yeah, I think it might be. Uh, I usually just, when I'm in the editor, I just blow it up another it's two or three percent. Jello, you know. I noticed, right? Well, that's the, that, that's the, 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 dependent on the quad. You can have jello with even the best camera, you know, on, on a bright sunny day with no, with no SD filter. Well, I like Absolutely. that smooth turn there. We suave, Mr. Mitch. Uh, that place was familiar. Yeah, doesn't it? I like that place. I actually like that place over the second place. Oh, well, there's no doubt about it. No Why doubt about it. This is a better place. place. We because they were out? having a cricket tournament there. So we got kicked yeah. out. Right? <laughs> they were having I don't a cricket know, the, tournament. The light poles were cool. I had fun with yeah. the light pole. I got to f fly near the bird, whatever bird that was. Yeah, Osprey. And I also got to now this is, there. <laughs> this is the that little three inch Roma three. It's about half as fast as the Marmot is, but still a lot of fun to fly. I've been thinking about one of those actually. Is there a analog version? Well, yeah, you can put an analog camera it's a frame. in it. It's, not, is a, it's a frame. That, that, uh, I, I didn't buy it. I built it. So, you know. Oh, uh, you, you, I got gotcha. you. Okay. But, you, I mean, you can buy it. Yeah, they sell they sell an, an analog bind and fly. The Roma 3 analog. They have one. You can buy all ready to fly. I must say, I've never really built a bird as far as matching flight control or escape. You know, motors, all that. I've never really done that. These days, it's it's not so much matching shit. It's what you can get. These everything is friggin' sold out when you go trying to find this stuff. So, well, see, I, I I mean, I wouldn't even know where to start as far as the KV the motors or whatever. That's oh. why I just been doing binding flies. You know. Well, that's what I'm here for, man. To tell you, help you out. What KV motors to use and. <coughs> Cause, cause yeah, but, that's, that's actually pretty simple. There are formulas. Uh, this is your build, a fight of your build. There's not a formula so much as a uh, as conventions. In other words, uh, for example, five inch quads. The most common motors are twenty three oh sixes, twenty two oh seven, somewhere about that size. KV on a five inch quad for four S is going to be around twenty four fifty. For a, a six S, will be seventeen eighteen hundred. And uh, then when you get bigger quads, those get the numbers get lower and the, mo the KV gets lower, the motors get bigger. As you get to the smaller quads, the KV gets bigger. You, get, you start to get to 3,500, 5,000 KV. And then when you get down into the whoops, 
you're sometimes 10, 11,000. I'll be right back, know. guys. I've got to run for a second. Okay. I can't believe you have the whole field for yourself. Where are you, by the parking lot? No, I'm, no, I'm sitting features? by the gazebo. Oh, you You'll do? see okay. where I, I was in my chair. You'll see. I'm coming into land now, so I land right at my feet. You'll see where I am. Oh, there you are. No, nope, I'm not landing. On the left. Right I now. saw you on the left. Yeah, I was just yeah. sitting right. Yeah, sitting in the sun. It was mm -hmm. it was beautiful morning, and the sun was. Uh, so I went out and sat in the sun. So when was this, Matt? Birdie. Uh, Saturday morning. Last Saturday. Oh, uh, so you probably had a little bit of chill through the air, didn't you? Uh, it, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it was seventy degrees about this time. That's chill. Yeah, but the sun it's... felt good, is what I'm saying. Yeah, the sun the sun felt good. Yeah, the sun was chill. still pretty low in the sky. Chilly sun. There I am. See me in the chair right there? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see the, you, yeah. Are you just killing the battery? Are you like down low? I'm just flying around. Oh, I thought you were just. This, 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 fun, when oh, this land, stupid. No, when I go to land and I see a few more a few more volts in the battery, I start. All right, let me just. Wow, this look thing at all those is. Cars this, behind you. this thing has got. Um, this thing was like a, it never ended. It just kept flying and flying. It was like a seven minute, eight minute flight. <laughs> it's when you do those. And I'm sitting there just buttons. having mm. having some fun, spinning around. Hey, I've been watching your flights. I'm taking tips and pointers. I have one to share. <laughs> so, Actually, so it's when, your when don't you, you dare criticize. Landed, you, no, not when at you all. Finally landed. Did you have a cigar? I, oh, I'm sure I did. You know. See, I like this right here. Nice. What? Nice. Scooting Very through nice. there? Yep. Nice. Nice. There you go. Suave that did these right turns for you. I call them Carloses. I said, let me do a Carlos here. <laughs> There's another Carlos right there. Right turn. A right turn. <laughs> and a nice banking right turn, I might say. Like an aero, Am I going to land plane? now? Maybe finally, finally, we got to land. Looks like it's an approach yeah. for landing. I'll tell you this: this little thing on a little eight fifty, little eight fifty four S battery goes forever. Here I am. There I am, sitting right there in the chair. Boom. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice legs, landing, huh? <laughs> nice legs, huh? Flamingo. Now, let me let me get out of that and get back to this and I'll show you mine. This get is back your to this and get get over to this. There we go. Oop, let me turn this nonsense off. What are we looking at? Uh, one. This is your Acrobrat. Bird. Acrobrat. It's, yeah, with the it's your bird. It's not my bird. It's your the bird. one you built. I mean, I built. Yeah, but it's your bird. Yep. He made it this bird this day. This That's is the acro acro prick, if I'm not mistaken. No, 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 no. That's what we named it. <laughs> I I named it. Is that, that what anyway. it says? Did you know? I, I maybe. Oh, maybe. You know what? I have to look on the. Uh... Yeah, yeah. If you look in Beta Flight, it says acro prick. Awesome. I love <laughs> the name. I was trying to be cinematic. No, that's great. That's the. That's Miss Daisy style right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, I like that. You know, that kind of flying. That's what this it, bird is going to be for. This yeah, is but it, be that kind of flying is, is relaxing, flying. You know, you get a I, chance to just, it's like sitting back and just enjoying the ride, you know, rather than being tense and worrying, am I going to make it through that two inch gap with this 10 inch wide drone, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> or am I going to break something? Break something, yeah. So I like that cruising around stuff. But what I liked the best was when you when I when I went down low and started weaving around through those trees and things. Yeah, that that, that I, I really liked that. This is, I call this the broccoli. Uh... Oh, the broccoli. <laughs> yeah, you are I getting normally, brave with the. I range. normally don't fly over there. Over here, just to the right, over there is where that other field is where I fly with Paul and Charlie. Just to the left now. See that opening? Anyway, that's. Pretty good distance. I probably could have gone a little further, but I saw those trees, and I'm like, man, if I lose it, all those trees. But man, that camera does that. DVR does a beautiful job. I Absolutely. think so. Like, Colors you don't, are good. You don't need Exposure is good. You don't need any uh, extra weight on your quad. No, the only difference in the GoPro is it's got all that stabilization stuff that really, really smooths it out. You know, but. Right. Uh, 
Yeah. Bless you, Ed. But Darn. I'm uh, quite pleased with the DVR footage and the way it flies. I might bump Good. the camera up a little bit. First Not of sure all, yet. if I mean, obviously your confidence level is picked up because you have the crossbar, Carlos. Because I'm telling you, if you fell safe over all that broccoli, it would be oh, a man. bit. You never fire. find the damn over. thing. You now, never you would find see a grown it. man cry. I would be like on Paul's yeah. shoulders. Yeah. Paul, what do I do? <laughs> But you, you you do you do need to do that uh, mod on your Tyrannus so she stops telling you telemetry lost telemetry no, I'm found. I'm just gonna kill her. That's all. Or just turn the voice, turn the volume that's all what I down. Did. I lowered it. Yeah. But even the breeze, it, it handled pretty good. All right, watch the landing pad approach. Did he hit it? So did he hit it? I don't oh, know. Oh man, look at that! It looks like he oh, hit it. Oh man. I did, I did. That was that was right on the money, Carlos. Good deal. Yeah, it's a nice good deal. Yeah, this is uh it. you saw this before, but this is that new this is the the newer of the Robas that I built. And it's a little faster, it's got a little bigger motors than that one. Three bladed props instead of two bladed props, and it's got the Cadex uh the Nebula Pro on it. But this I flew this today. I it it just I love these little things. They're no muss. You just, you know, fire them up and away you go. Very light, small batteries, 850. You get six, seven, eight minute flight times on them and uh, sub 250 gram. With, even with all the all the bling on it. It's got uh, a uh, lost quad finder. It's got GPS on it for GPS rescue. And uh, still sub 250 with the, with the 850 battery on it. And less well, likely to kill or maim somebody with it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, compared to, you don't realize it, but compared to the size of the marmot, you can see it's, you know, this looks like a, this thing is like a, a, a brick next to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello to Michael Blade. Michael Blade, how you doing, my friend? Hey, Mr. Blade. Good to see you. You're just in time for me to say good night, man. <laughs> I clocked myself in the right shoulder with a five inch one time. I, it left a bruise for about three months. So. Oh, there. Uh, there's a lot of momentum in those things. They're da they're dangerous. They can be dangerous. So, you just have to be a little more careful, I guess. Well, guys, I guess that about covers what we what we're going to do tonight. So uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up and got time to have my <coughs> evening cigar. So late. Yeah. Well, Mitch, so I'll go ahead and bow out. Okay, Ed, thanks for Captain coming in. Ed. Good to see I'm you. I'll call you Captain Ed since I didn't Captain realize you were the sailor. So you're not. Yeah, you, 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 you. you're a captain. Yeah. Yeah, Captain there was a Ed. Boat it takes. place not far from you called Captain Eddie's, man. Uh, uh, there you go. Forget about go. DG Army. Hoorah. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, right, thanks Mr. for helping me out tonight, buddy. All right, Paulie. We'll, anyway. we'll, we'll, we'll get on it and uh, we'll get it. We'll, we'll figure it out one way or the other and get it flying again. Sounds like a so, plan, buddy. I appreciate uh, that. A camera ought to be, you know, a couple of days, two, three days, I'll have the camera and, and I'm, I'm not going to wait for the live stream. I'll just start working on it and see if I get it fixed and. We'll talk about it next Monday after it's all fixed and you're flying it again. How's that? Sounds like a plan. Thank you. All right, buddy. You See you next have, time. You'll have a good night. Thank you. Okay, you too. You have his phone and number, right? What? You have his phone number, Paul's number. I don't know if I do. Tech, if I, I, if I may or may not. Text, uh, you know what? I'll send it to you. Yeah. Send it to me. All right. So, all right, uh, evening, Carlos, thanks, thanks for coming in, buddy. Good to see you. Had fun. And, we'll uh, talk. Thanks for... I'm still Thanks doing for it. side two kicking. Weeks, two weeks in a day. Good for you. I sent you a video to watch today. I know. I, I just a few. Yeah. A few minutes and if then you, this if thing you never, If you never watch another video, watch that all the way through and pay real close attention. It's very, very, very important shit that he's talking Got about it. in there. All right, buddy. Good night, senor. Take care, See everybody you. in the chat. All righty. Okay. And that leaves me. So, uh, well, two hours flew by, guys. 
Thanks for coming in. A pleasure as always. Good to see the regular crowds here. And uh, oh, Brian, I didn't see you there. Good to see you. Mike Kenny, Unlimited Vertical. Michael Blade Drone Shots. And uh, Ed was here. Rat, thanks for coming in, buddy. Hugh, man, thanks for hanging in there with us. Mike Night Train. Justin Drones 863. And who did I miss? Uh, Limited Vertical. Mike Roche. If you're still here, thanks for coming in. And we get back a little ways. A.J. Alvarez stopped in to say hi. How you doing, buddy? I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm sure he's probably gone again. Brad Austin was here. Brad, if you're still around, good to see you. And I think that's about it. If I missed anybody, drone shots or anybody else, uh, Doc Murdoch is here. Chris, good to see you. That'll about do it. So we'll get a little... A little traveling music going. There we are. I don't like that music. There we go. All right, guys, thanks for coming in and uh, see you around the horn. Take the rest of the day off. Go play with your drones and uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend. With that, I'll turn it over to my uh, trusty sidekick, Spank, the monkey, and he'll say goodnight. Say goodnight, Spanky.